resource and sagacity. Oliver is a great western tank engine. The other railway wants to scrap him, so he ran away. Isabel, his faithful coach, came too. And so did Toad, a brake van. At the last moment, they were nearly caught, but Douglas saved them. The fat controller was pleased and said that when Oliver was mended, he could help Duck with his branch line. We'll give you all great western colours, like Duck, he said kindly. That will help you to forget your troubles. Oh, thank you, sir, said Oliver happily. Duck's branch starts from the big station. When Oliver started work, he often met other engines there. They all wanted to know about his adventures. Unbelievable! Never before has a great western engine had such a narrow escape. The moon was full that night, and the wind was rustling in the trees. I weren't scared, though. And, oh, yes. My escape from that scrapyard was probably the greatest escape anyone's ever had. Amazing. Oliver has resource and sagacity. He is an example to us all. You're too kind. No big engine had ever said admiring things to him before. I'm sorry to say that it made him puffed up in the smoke box. Henry says I'm amazing. He's right. What do I care for trouble? I just push it aside. Just listen to him. Just listen to him. He's proud. He's conceited. He's heading for trouble. I feel it in my frames. You are doing well. Now, you must learn how to look after trucks. All trucks are badly behaved. But ballast trucks are worst of all. Donald, Douglas and Duck warned Oliver about this. You think I can't manage? Gordon knows better. He says I'm sagacious. You may be good gracious, but... Say no more, Duck. It's maybe a pity, but the wee engine will just have to learn. Today, Oliver took the trucks by himself for the first time. He pulled the loaded ones to a siding. And pushed empties to the chute. Then he came back, full of confidence, to take the loaded wagons away. The loaded trucks were comfortable and didn't want to move. They had just realised, too, that they had a different engine. Jack Green, I know. They grumbled. I'm Donald. I'm Douglas. What right is Oliver to put this funnel in here? Look sharp, puffed Oliver. Smart little. That's not the way to speak. I'll tell you that. The trucks moved on easily. Oliver thought he had them in control. Trucks, he told himself proudly, don't play tricks on me. I'll arrange them on the middle road and start away as soon as Doug arrives. I can't understand why he says they're so troublesome. They reached the station's throat. Oliver's brakes came on with a groan. But brakes were useless against loaded, surging trucks. They pushed forward, yelling. <laughs> Oliver fought hard, but still they forced him on and on and on.
Hello, Oliver. Have you been a good, gracious engine? Big pardon, of course, but we don't really like that sort of surprise. Donald and Douglas will miss their turntable. Later that day, Donald and Douglas spoke pungently in Scots, and the fat controller spoke pointedly in English. All three left Oliver in no doubt at all, but so far from being sagacious, he was a very silly engine.